You be fighting. Yeah. You in there be fighting. You look like you fight good because you look like you've been fighting yourself, nigga. Because you by yourself. You know what I mean? You always talking about, you know, somebody and somebody business. Talking about the way I look. South Paul, you look a mess. Thank you. Before I get to that 100 year old clown, it looks like Ryan Garcia does not want to fight in New York City. It looks like Ryan Garcia got something against the Barclays Center in New York City. Ryan Garcia tweeted out, This is an MGM Vegas fight. We doing everything we can to bring this fight to Las Vegas, giving it the attention it deserves. Now, what do you mean by that? Does Ryan Garcia finally realize that the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York only holds 17,000 people? Does Ryan Garcia finally realize that his fight with Devin Haney will never be as big as his fight with Javante Davis? He's not a pay-per-view attraction. I think that's exactly what Ryan Garcia is trying to say. Ryan Garcia tweeted out, This decision has nothing to do with NYC, but everything to do with business and what I believe is the best move for my career. This fight is already signed. This is the official poster for Devin Haney vs. Ryan Garcia. As y'all can see on the bottom, it says, Devin Haney Promotions, Matchroom, and the Barclays Center, April 20th at the Barclays Center. So what the hell is Ryan Garcia talking about? <laughs> Devin Haney said this dude is planning his escape. First he talking tough, now we talking like a B-I-T-C-H. Then Devin Haney said, the only reason this fight is not happening in Las Vegas is because they don't want to affect Canelo's ticket sales. Stop the cap. <laughs> This is where Devin has lost his damn mind. He is very delusional. Hey, yo, Devin, no matter what you do, no matter who you fighting, you will never affect Canelo Alvarez ticket sales, bro. Y'all know I know Canelo Alvarez fan, but I must say Canelo is a superstar in the sport of boxing. Canelo did over a million buys several times on pay-per-view. Devin Haney never did over a million buys. What the hell is this man talking about? You cannot outsell Canelo Alvarez, Devin Haney. Maybe if he was fighting Javante Davis, but that is it. You are not fighting Javante. You are fighting Ryan Garcia, a man that Javante knocked out. You will never affect Canelo's ticket sales. What happened with Benavides? Then Javante Tank Davis, the man you see Devin Haney admiring in this picture like a groupie, tweeted out. You know why they fighting in New York City. Could Javante Davis be trying to insinuate that he will be fighting on 420 in Las Vegas, Nevada? Then Javante Davis tweeted out this picture. It is Birdman rubbing his hands. What can Javante Davis be trying to insinuate with this tweet? I will tell you. Maybe Javante Davis is trying to say that he will be fighting on 420 in Las Vegas. And y'all know damn well. If Javante Tank Davis and Devin Haney fight on the same day, ain't nobody gonna buy a Devin Haney fight. Javante Davis will always be able to outsell Devin Haney. Devin is not a draw. Stop talking about that. This was Devin Haney today at the gym looking like a clown. For some reason, Devin Haney believes that he's a sellable fighter. The only reason that this fight will somewhat sell is because Devin is fighting Ryan Garcia. That is it. That is all. The only reason that this fight will somewhat do good on pay-per-view is because all of Ryan Garcia fans will buy this fight. Devin Haney has no fan base. On top of that, if you take a closer look at the poster for Devin Haney vs. Ryan Garcia, in the middle it says, this one counts. What the hell do they mean by that, this one counts? What the hell is they talking about? So all of a sudden when Devin Haney fights Ryan Garcia, it counts. But when Javante Davis fights Ryan Garcia, Bill Haney calls it an exhibition. Make this make sense. South Paul, you look a mess. Thank you. Period. Hey, yo, Bill Haney, why the hell is you saying period like some type of female, bro? Is you mad that I dropped that video of me beating up on that Devin Haney fan? Are you mad that you been seeing my videos of me beating up Devin Haney fans? Devin Haney fans are easy work. Even me, at 41 years old, could stop any Devin Haney fan that steps to me. So why don't you accept my challenge and step into that boxing ring with me? Oh, I forgot. You nothing but an Oakland, California clown. People from Oakland, California is all talk 
and Bill Haney is a great representation of y'all. Oakland, California is soft as hell. And Eddie Reynoso feelings got hurt today trying to defend Canelo Alvarez. Everybody knows that Canelo is scared of David Benavidez. So Eddie Reynoso came out today and said, I find it in very bad taste that they say Canelo is afraid of David Benavidez. I don't know how they dare classify a fighter as fearful who did not hesitate to fight Floyd Mayweather, Miguel Cotto, who faced the fearsome Gennady Golovkin when he had knocked out half of the world, who rose to light heavyweight risking everything to face Dimitri Bivo. The reality is that none of the big promoters have given me an offer to fight David Benavidez. Ayo, hey, Eddie Reynoso, when you are the A-side like Canelo Alvarez is, you supposed to make the damn offers, not the B-side. On top of that, everybody take a look at the names that Eddie Reynoso mentioned in his post. Eddie Reynoso said Floyd Mayweather, Floyd beat Canelo Alvarez all 12 rounds. Miguel Cotto, in my opinion, Miguel Cotto beat the brakes off of Canelo Alvarez. Then the man mentioned Triple G. Triple G beat Canelo Alvarez then first two fights, everybody knows that. Then the man mentioned Dimitri Bivo. Dimitri Bivo won every single round against Canelo Alvarez. So how dare this clown mention the names that beat Canelo Alvarez? Everybody and their mama know that Canelo Alvarez is scared of David Benavidez. Canelo Alvarez clown ass fans know that he is scared of David Benavidez. Even though they don't want to admit it, they know deep down that Canelo Alvarez will retire without ever fighting David Benavidez out of fear. We all know that Canelo Alvarez was happy as hell when he heard that news yesterday that David Benavidez was thinking about moving up to 175. Everybody and their mama knows damn well that Canelo is gonna retire from the sport without ever fighting David Benavidez. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what type of hope y'all have for Canelo Alvarez. Mark my words. Canelo is gonna retire without fighting David. Y'all do know that, right? I don't give a damn how much money they offer Canelo Alvarez. You will never, and I do repeat, never see Canelo in the same ring with David Benavidez out of fear. Fuck Canelo. David Benavidez puts fear in Canelo Alvarez's heart. Not just Canelo Alvarez, but every single one of his fans. Baby, you want baby? I know that. <laughs> 